everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline. I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. So I hope you consider subscribing and joining our little adventure family here. And today I have my November favorites. I cannot believe it is the last month of the year. I feel like everyone always says that, but I truly cannot believe it. My baby boy is going to be nine months old. I can't believe it. It feels literally like yesterday we were bringing him home. I was looking through old videos yesterday to like upload to the uh, cloud so I have them like saved or like backed up I mean, he was so teeny when we brought him home I can't like I can't believe it I was like in tears it was a whole thing yeah I have some favorites to share with you guys from November like I say every month um I try to pick out things that are truly truly my favorites not just like new things to me that I've been trying that are like okay these could be old things or new things that I truly loved this month and then used a ton so I have some beauty, I have a couple fashion, and I have one travel favorite. So let me start with the beauty stuff. All right, let's start with a couple skincare items. First of all, in the skincare, skincare category is the Bliss Block Star. I tried this last year for the first time, or maybe it was over the winter, I don't remember. But I tried this a while ago for the first time, and it was amazing. And I kind of, I like, I think I went through like three or four tubes of this. And then I was like trying other tinted SPFs and kind of just you know, seeing what was out there and stuff. And I went back to this one recently and I love, love, love this stuff. So this is um, an 100% mineral sunscreen. It's SPF 30. It's got a nice tint to it. Um, it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And I just love it. It's such a good tinted SPF. I feel like the tint might not work on everybody. I don't think this is going to be like a universal tinted SPF for everyone. I wish they had a couple different shades because even sometimes I find this like slightly too dark on my skin tone even. I'm like deep skin tones is going to be too light. You know it's just I think it depends on the skin tone but I love this. It looks so beautiful on my face. Actually one of the times I wore this my sister was with me and she was like what do sunscreen do you have on your face? You look like you have a filter on your face. It was this. It's amazing. Like I said just such a good tinted SPF. It doesn't break me out. It makes my skin feel really good and it really does like kind of even everything out take down any redness but my skin still looks like skin it doesn't like do anything too crazy but it's beautiful and i love this this has been my daily go-to spf recently and it's so so nice um another skincare product that i kind of forgot i had and i recently pulled back out and i'm loving it i use these in the morning these are the patchology flash patch rejuvenating eye gels these are just little silicone not silicone uh, like gel eye patches they come with a little like scooper guy to get them out which honestly i don't know if that's completely necessary um but they just look like this i don't even know if you can see them they're just little like clear eye patch things covered in serum and for me they're just really nice and cooling and hydrating and on those mornings where like maybe i didn't sleep great because my baby didn't sleep great or you know whatever the reason is i just need a little bit of under eye help. I don't use an eye cream or anything. This is just great to kind of boost the moisture under my eyes, kind of smooth everything out. And they also feel nice and cooling. So I feel like that helps with like smoothing it out and depuffing anything like that. Um, I have a pack of 15 pairs. These can be kind of pricey. I think I got these during one of like the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sales. And I really enjoy them. Like I said, they're just a nice, easy pick me up something a little bit extra like this morning when I was like doing my eyebrows <laughs> I put them underneath my eyes just to kind of smooth everything out and then I went in with my my SPF and stuff after that but they're just really nice I really enjoy them I'm sure you could find cheaper ones um but I really really like these ones and I don't know if I would get these ones again unless they were on sale just because like I said they can be expensive for what they are but um, I know like Good Molecules has some and I want to try those. But I just love them. Any like nice cooling eye patch. I prefer the hydrogel ones. I just love them and these are a great, great option. Another skincare product is the Naturium as Lake Acid Emulsion 10%. So I recently, not recently, like within the past month and a half, two months I think maybe, maybe sooner than that, I decided to try the Emulsion. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know I love their topical 10% acid one, it's just like a serum of the Azelaic acid. 
I love that. I use that throughout my whole pregnancy, postpartum, to help my acne. Um, because obviously when you're pregnant, you can't use like a retinol or salicylic acid or anything like that. But I need something to kind of keep my acne at bay and help fight redness from like my skin just being red, just as what it is. Um, but I decided to switch to the emulsion just to try it out. I figured it might be a little bit more hydrating for the winter months. Here in Colorado, it's very dry all the time, but especially in the winter months. And I've been loving this. I don't know if I like this better than their normal azelaic acid serum. I might switch back, but this is really good. Um, this one is carried in stores at Target's. That was like another reason I wanted to switch. I wanted to see, you know, it'd be easier just to pick it up in store. I have to order it every time. Yeah, I really like this one. This one does have niacinamide just like the other one. It has something they call bioactive brightening complex. Don't know exactly what that is. The other one has vitamin C in it. Yeah, I like them both. I think the other one just like slightly beats it out for me. I don't know, my skin just seems to like drive slightly better with it. But this one's really good. And if you have dry skin and I'm looking for an azelaic acid, this might be a good one to try. I really enjoy it. All right, I have a couple makeup products. First off, this is not new to me, but I recently pulled it back out of my collection, threw it. It wasn't gonna go in my everyday makeup bag, but I threw it in there one day because I tried it again and I was like, yes, I love it. And it's the Undone Beauty Unfoundation Glow Tint. So this is a very light coverage, super sheer. I like to mix this with stuff. So on the days where I want even less coverage, really light, I'll mix this in with my Halo Glow or on my full coverage foundations. And it just gives it a beautiful glow, a beautiful like kind of just shears it out. If the color is a little bit dark, too dark, this one's a nice light color, so it can lighten it up a little bit. It's just really nice. It is really beautiful on its own too, but it is very, very sheer. This is definitely like, if you just want that skin tint sort of look, very light coverage, just kind of toning down any redness you might have, this is it. It's not gonna cover up any blemishes. It's not gonna cover up freckles, anything like that, or any like dark spots you might have but it just kind of evens things out and makes it look beautiful. And it feels so good on the skin. It's so hydrating. It feels really nice. Um, and I love how small and compact this is. It still has a, it has over a fluid ounce actually. So it has more than like a normal foundation, but the packaging is just so nice and thin and slim. This is perfect for an everyday makeup bag or for traveling. I just love it. It's so nice and it feels great on the skin. So if you're looking for like a nice sheer tint, this one is great. The other makeup product I've been loving is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brown Gel. I have it in the shade Soft Brown. Um, when I first tried this, I thought it might be too dark. There was a lot of product coming out. I didn't know what to do. I was kind of like, oh man, I made a mistake. I did not get the right color or anything. I quickly discovered that this brush holds on to a lot of product. Um, so my recommendation is to take the brush and just kind of wipe a lot of that excess product off and then go in. I kind of start in the middle of my brow and go out and then do the center, the very inner part of my brow. And it looks beautiful. It holds my brows in place. It gives me a little bit of cover. It is the perfect thing for my everyday makeup bag because most days I don't want to do a pencil and then a gel. And most days I also want a little bit more than just a clear brow gel. I want something to kind of fill it in too. So this is perfect. It holds them up, gives me the extra color I'm looking for, and it works really well. But like I said, it does pull a lot of the product up. So if you're having trouble with that, even if you think you got like your right color, but they still look a little crazy, wipe off the excess on the tube. Or I mean, if you want to be wasteful, I guess you could do it on tissue. I don't want to waste any product. So put it in here. This is also... The mini size, this is gonna last me forever. I do not need a full size. This was a lot cheaper, so there's another thing for you. The packaging is beautiful too. I do have like a little, you can see it. I have a little dent in mine. Oh well. This is great though. Super easy to travel with. It's perfect one and done sort of brow product. So love that guy. Another oldie thing that I've been loving, this is kind of like a self-care thing, is Dr. Teal's. So I recently have been talking to my husband about feeling a little bit like stressed out and like I don't have any time for me and I just need some like alone time. I spend all day at home with our son and I just need some self-care relaxation time. So we kind of worked it out with like once or twice a week. I'm going to take a bath and relax and just be by myself while my husband watches our son at night. 
normally we would just like hang out the three of us and have like family time but every once in a while I need some alone time so I've pulled back out my Dr. Teal's and I've been loving taking my bubble bath once a week um right now I have the pink Himalayan bubble bath and I have the coconut oil bath salts these bath salts smell amazing they smell like a tropical beach vacation and I love it I don't think this bubble bath has a ton of scent, which is perfect for me because if I want to throw in like a bath bomb or I just really want to smell the coconutty, it doesn't really take away, but I still get that bubble-ness. So good. Dr. Teal's is so cheap and they work so well. You get so much bubble bath. It foams up so nice. I love it. And the, the um, coconut oil one of this is really hydrating too. Your skin will feel good. Your muscles will feel good. Everything about these is amazing. So... No need to spend like crazy amounts of money on bath salts and bat bubble bath. Dr. Teal's is where it's at and I love these. All right, my next two things are fashion. One is kind of like a fun Christmassy sort of thing. And the other one's like an actual, you know, something you wear all year or at least through the winter and fall. So let's start with like the actual one. And it is a sweater from Aerie. It actually has pants to go with it. I did not buy the pants. I'm kind of regretting it now because I don't think they have the pants anymore online but it's this sweater from Aerie. It's kind of like a zip half knit or a half zip thing, but it's a nice soft knit. I got in this like oatmeal-y color. It's so pretty and cute on. It is a little bit oversized and big. It definitely covers like my butt if I'm wearing leggings with it, but you could totally like tuck it in and crop it up or something. It'd be super cute like that too, but I recently wore it when we went up into uh, Breckenridge, I wore it with my leather leggings. It looked adorable. It looked really cute tucked into jeans. If you had the whole set, it would look adorable with the set. Plain leggings, anything. It's kind of just like the perfect cozy, lightweight sweater. It doesn't feel too heavy on, but it's definitely warm and cozy. I felt nice and warm and comfortable when we were up in the mountains and it was like 15 degrees. So this is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. It comes in a couple different colors. If the set, if the pants ever come back in stock, I'm going to get pants to match it, I think. But the sweater itself is so cute and comfortable, and I love it. The other thing I got from American Eagle is this sweatshirt and sweatpants set, and it has the Grinch and Max all over it. I'm going to be wearing this whole... I've already been wearing it so much. It's so comfortable. But it's this cute little cropped sweatshirt, and then these nice high-waisted... It's got a nice thick band and they're kind of like um, a wide leg long sweatpants. These are so comfortable. They look so cute. I told my husband I might wear the sweatshirt out with leggings for like if we go to the zoo lights or something. So cute. So comfortable. This isn't too cropped where like my belly is showing or anything. It kind of hits right like at my belly button almost. But the pants are nice and high waisted that there is no really like skin showing. But they're so comfortable. This comes as a set. And I love it. It's so cute. I mean, how could you not love Max and the Grinch? So adorable. I think they also have like a Peanuts one, but I think it's shorts and a sweatshirt. And I really wanted this full sweatpants. And I just love the Grinch. I love it so much. It's one of our must watch at holiday time. And I love it. It's so comfortable. Like I said, I've already been wearing it a bunch and I'm obsessed. All right, my last favorite is a travel favorite. This month we traveled to Pittsburgh for my best friend's baby shower. I'm so happy for them. I cannot wait to meet their beautiful baby girl. And we had so much fun. It was just a quick trip. We left on a Friday, we came back on a Monday. But we had so much fun. David did have a slight meltdown on the way home on our second flight, but it was all okay, you know. Traveling with children, they're gonna have meltdowns. It's gonna be okay. And to anyone else around us, I was sorry. Believe me, no one was more annoyed and more frustrated with the crying than I was. I was crying too because I was so frustrated. Um, but yeah, anyway, we had a really fun time. It was a beautiful baby shower and I'm just so excited to meet their sweet baby girl. I'm so happy for them. Um, but yeah, that's all of my favorites for this month. Can't believe it's last month of the year. Let's make it our best one yet. Uh, hopefully you guys had a great November. If you had anything you were loving from November that you want to share with me, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.